this is Josh from Painting by Josh. Today we're going to show all you beautiful people how to paint an aluminium sliding door. So I'll put up other ones where the aluminium windows, this one's just going to be a quick DIY door repaint. So first things when it comes to painting, pretty much when it comes to anything when it comes to painting, you got your two things, prep and paint. Everything always needs to be prepped. Uh, first off, dust up. We go through and we dust everything down. If there's any stickers, uh, mud, mildew, anything that's on the windows, we need to get it off. So go through, scrape it all down, dust everything clean. If you need to vacuum, scrape out between all the tracks and everything like that, that's always very important as well. So get as much dirt, stuff out as you can. Step two, go through tape and paper. If you don't have one of these machines, you can always use newspaper, any paper you've got laying around, uh, which is also cool because, hey, it's recyclable. So uh, yeah, if you haven't got any, just might take a bit longer, but as long as you've got your tape, and your paper, you're sweet. So anyway, I'm gonna go through now with this machine. Doesn't matter if you start taping up the perimeter because we have to do the insert glass and the outside timber window uh, frame. So we'll go through, tape them all up first. What we've done as well, we've painted the timber frames first. So that way, um, instead of doing it the other way around where we paint the aluminium frame, then the timber, where always the tape will stick to the timber frame and it will definitely not pull anything off while taping to your frame it can be especially if it's taped recently after you've painted it it could cause it to um, come off because it hasn't quite cured uh, yet so always do your frame first and your window uh, aluminium last So we're going through and we're going to tape up the perimeter. Always leave it a couple of millimetres away from the surface. You'd rather have it away, especially because it's the same colour as well. You'd rather definitely have it away from the surface um, than onto your surface. There's nothing worse than taping them up painting it all out then demasking and you can see the previous colour where you've taped over it too much so it's always better just to stay off it just a couple of mil Have a roll of tack tape with you. Just tack off any areas. Doesn't really have to be perfect. No, I'm just sort of protecting the areas around it. I'll just leave that. I'm just even just tape it to the thing like that. We'll, I will do the flooring. So I do get asked a lot on my aluminium window video um, 
to paint the rubber seals or not to paint the rubber seals. It's really entirely up to you. If you're gonna go through and prime them, it doesn't really matter. So as long as you let it cure before you go take it off the tape, or make sure you cut around it with a Stanley knife to that edge. Um, it's entirely up to you if you want to paint the rubbers or you don't. So that, that's hopefully a bit helpful, but yeah, just like I said, just make sure you give it a good dust down. Everything perimeter wise is taped up now. So we can go through and tape up all the glass. So on this time, we are going to paint out the rubber because we do not want the black strip. We want, we've got nice white windows, so we don't want to have that black strip going around. Same, same thing again. You just want to leave it a couple of mil. See how you can just see, like there's, there's you know, a millimetre from um, the black rubber, so you've just got uh, enough, so it's going to be a nice clean line when you pull it off, plus you're not going to be tearing off any paint when you come to the seal as well. Can over. It does help sometimes just to tack these in. You can try to fight with it. And it's a lot easier if you just sort of tack them in. Even if you're not really good with your taping machine at start, just do a perimeter. So just grab your tape, paint, uh, your tape, go around that edge first. Sometimes it can make it a lot easier. It's all, it's all um, what you prefer. So I even have a lot of painters that like to put a perimeter tape around first. Um, I think sometimes you're double handling your job. So I always just do it like this, but hey, if you haven't, um, if you're not completely comfortable with your taping machine, just do a perimeter tape around first, and then that way it makes it a lot easier um, when it comes to taping up the inserts. So that's a, a way it can be done also. <clears throat> so with this as well, I'm just gonna go like this. Run it straight down. See how I have over, over extended my roll as well. So it's gonna come out just a bit. And when I try to tape, it's not gonna to stick to it and that they will come up. So just either just tuck it up, fold it up like that. So that way you've got enough area space for your tape to stick to. Then you just come along like this. Tape in the insert. Like I always say, leave off enough here. This is what I call a little dog tag. So that way, grab your little, by running the two edge on this one, doesn't have to be this, it could be a barbecue scraper, um, a spatula, anything that's with a sharp edge. Put it in that corner, make sure, tuck it in there, and just pull it off like that. So pretty much repeat that exact same process on the next window. Um, make sure you tape up around all these areas here. So just put it on that end. This is the lock that we've got going on. 
So just put it down, same thing again. That wasn't meant to happen. Leave a little tag underneath, so then that way you can get your blade, just tuck it in there and just tear it off like that. And then you can just tuck it in on each side. And just sort of fold it into position like that. And then you just grab your next one. You just cover up these little joints here. Same sort of thing, fold it in so you're not going over your, the area that you don't want taped. Get your blade and just tuck it in there. So it's all nice. So the same process with that. We'll go through. <clears throat> Always start on this inside edge first, because it's a lot easier. Um, and if you go that way, you're gonna have drama to try to fold it back in. So start it on this angle here, and then you should be able to just wiggle it in there perfectly like that. And then you can go over your lock, or just put your lock in. Get this back edge here. Same thing, then just go over it. It's pretty much the same with all of it. Do your in, do all your out edges, then fill in your inserts, the same as the window. You just go around the handle. Oop. Lucky last bit, that never happens, does it? So that's the handle done. We'll just go through. And to another good thing is, if you want to color match your lockings and your door handles and everything with the actual sliding door or your windows, don't tape them up, just do the exact same process, prime them, and then go over and move your top coats. So all dependent on what you want to do. So we have just decided that we do want to actually paint them out white to match the rest. So it doesn't really take much to go through and take off what well, does. This I clip tape, she's good. But that was a good way of showing everyone how to tape up the, the handles anyway. So it actually wasn't much of wasting time. But see how now with the perimeter here, I don't really have to line it up. I can just go straight to that. So I will go all the way to the end, but because I didn't do it all the way down. But see, I don't even have to line it up that well on that area. And what I always do as well, I never sort of um, take, take my machine all the way down to the bottom line. Just sort of mark it out, just pull it down. You can sort of measure how far you actually want to go with your machine with by just pulling it out like just like that. That way, you've got enough room on each side.
Put something down. Just do the same with this for top one. Stage two, paint. We've all prepped up now, gave everything a good dust down, made sure everything was sweet. These are really old and they don't really need a sand. If, if yours are glossy, just give them the light sand with a screen, a green scourer, sponge, anything that you can, just to dull up the surface. That's all you need to do. We use it to the normal glass, no rust primer on this one. This is an all surface primer. Pretty much can prime any surface that you need. Hence the name, all surface. And this is our Duramax. A lot of the time this doesn't even need uh, a primer as well, but we always just go over it just to make sure it's 100%. So you can use this product, or there's a lot of other different products on the market as well. You've got your Dulux Metal Shield X primers. Uh, they can be also used so what we've got going on, gonna get it going. Always give your can a good shake. Give your, give your can a shake every 15 to 20 seconds. Uh, you'll find your pressure will start dropping. So that's a lot of the reason why. Always, if you can, get a fat cap. So you, you got a wider fan. We've got like a 10 centimeter fan on this one, uh, where we've, your standard caps, they make it a lot harder. You don't get a nice finish. Um, so that's the difference. You'll be trying to get like this. Don't get me wrong, you can get a really nice finish, uh, but it, it does take a lot more control. And, um, and it will take a lot longer. So always give it a good shake. Wear a mask. Let's get into it and get it done. We're not worrying about coverage, peeps. Never worry about coverage when you're priming. It's just your first coat. The mist, the, the lighter it is, the better adhesion that it's gonna be, especially with a primer. So we always want to um, just mist it on, especially when it's going on metal. I'm not talking about timber, I'm talking about metal, just mist it. There you go. See how you got that strip down there as well? That's usually um, just your weather strip. Just shut it up to a point where it covers that and then you write the spray. A lot of the time as well, I'm gonna do an updated aluminium window video and that will show because when you open up this door, you'll have that back edge that will come out and you'll see it. So what you need to do is lift out your window or lift out your door, paint that one edge, lift it and put it back in and then that solves that problem with that one lift down that side. All right, there you go. We're gonna leave this for about 10 minutes, come back and start applying our one or two top coats. All right. Now I'm going through, putting one of two top coats on. This is a Duramax Dulux. 
I've got the fat cap on here. So with this coat, you do want to apply it a bit heavier. You want about 50% overlap on each pass. There you go, that's pretty much first coat. We'll leave that to dry and we'll come back and apply another one. Alright, we'll just go through putting two or two top coats on. The second or two top coats. I've just opened up this so I can get a bit of light coming through. It's starting to get a bit dark in here. We'll just go through. It's exactly the same process as First coat, just nice even. Passes. There you go. That's uh, how you do an uh, aluminium sliding wing uh, door. So that's uh, from preparation to our primer coat to our two top coats over the top of that. Now we'll leave it about five minutes and we'll go through. I am very impatient, so I'll probably just start taking that down now, being very careful. But As you can see, keeping it off that one mil, you get a nice, beautiful, straight pitch line. And I won't. Appreciate you always tuning in and watching. Uh, nothing but love and respect, always.